Because I know you listen to Crappy Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Who, me? Yeah, yeah I Meryl listen Street. to Crappy Awesome sometimes. Meryl Streep. Oh, Meryl Streep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know she listens. So totally listens to Crappy Awesome. You know what awesome. you should do, Meryl Streep? Is, uh, <laughs> we call everybody by full name. You should just shut too. the fuck up <laughs> and give like all your money then. Like just give yeah. a bunch of money. Because you could do that and that would matter. Right. Like that would like really do something. Find something, some families or something. Do that. Yeah. And you might do that. If you do, bravo. But – you can't talk about something you actually have not experienced at all and try to be – Actually, it's been, you can. It's been a long time. No, it's no, been a long time. You can talk about She wasn't about born those. rich. No, no, but I think yeah. you can talk about it. You just can't claim to be in a leadership position yeah. to talk for the people that are currently in that right. situation. That platform that yeah. you're standing on, like because the, the way that you deliver the message matters. Yeah. But you know, like, you know Bob Dylan won the Nobel Peace Prize – like, or not the, the literature prize. The Nobel like, literature oh, yeah, prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like just wouldn't show up to accept it. Have you heard about this? No. Yeah, no. He like they would keep asking about it, and of course, like the the committee was like getting more and more pissed. They're like, "How how dare you? Yeah, we're giving you a Nobel we're Prize. We're honoring you. Yeah, yeah." And he was never a dick about it. He just kind of like kept sliding it off, and like he and like released a statement thanking and saying that he's honored and everything. But uh, I think a lot of his motivation was designed around like th this thing is kind of a circle jerk. <laughs> and if I if my if I submit to it, then it does kind of taint the art and the message. Yeah, that takes a lot of fucking guts. Yeah, to like just be like, you know what, like not get up there in your million dollar dress and be like, I know, I'm so yeah, honored, just don't oh, play. I'm so humble. Yeah, just don't play. Yeah, yeah. If like, you really cool. believe it, don't. Thank play. you for the prize. I appreciate it. It is very kind of you, but I'm not going to join in this circle jerk. Yeah. That's pretty fucking punk. Yeah. That's pretty that's, <laughs> that's punk. fucking that's fucking Bob Dylan. That's fucking punk rock right there. That's some Let's G start the show. shit right there. Oh, we're that was our banter. All right. Yeah. Don't flush. Hi, Lino. Hey, this shit goes beyond the scope of the spectrum that I signed up for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well you shouldn't have got high. Well, <laughs> let's go. We'll just go back to dick jokes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't flush the toilet. Welcome to another mildly erect episode of the Crappy Awesome Podcast. We're your host, the Diego Brown Project. I go by Mr. Get your Raj. mind out of the gutter, Lino. Yeah, seriously. What is wrong with God. saying that? Shit. Good Lord. Calm down, man. Your you're, hair looks amazing, You're a fucking professor. Thank you, bro. I'm a big fan of that right now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we, are, right, we are Diego Brown Project. It took me forever to find a fucking barber that could cut my hair. Yeah? Yeah, doc. So I got very like rough indigenous ass hair that's you just do. fucking straight. You You're know very right? ass too. Yeah. And so like if they fucking cut it a little too short, when I put gel, it'll just stick out. Yeah. yeah. You just like a porcupine. Them. And then I found like I found, a Mexican found porcupine. <laughs> I've been loyal to that guy ever since. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That is like that's like the longest direct connected relationship a man has is with his barber. <laughs> totally heterosexual. Not that there's anything wrong with the other ones, but that's like for a man. That's like that's. The, I'm never gonna cheat on that that's dude. Your dude. Somebody knows how to do your hair. You do not cheat on that dude yeah. ever. Yeah. That shit's important. Yeah. Nah, man, it's fucking. It's dope every time I come and kick it with you fools because you fools are on some other shit. Okay, man. Can we, can we do the opening of our show? Oh, oh shit. Okay. Yeah. I thought we had gone through that. I'm See, that's good. what happens, God. man. It's good your Lord. fault. Is this fool? It's not my fault. Fucking smoke some weed. Yeah. I go by Mr. Arash, okay. but nobody calls me Mr. And with me is Kelsey Ray, even though we'll just call him Chris. Yeah. Hey, We're, of course, brought to you by Platform Collection. I'll try to speed through it. How's that? Yeah, we'll get through We're, it. We're, of course, brought to you by Platform Collection. <laughs> Make sure you go over there to check out all the content that is at platformcollection.com uh, for the next three hours, 23 minutes, and five seconds. I'm bringing back the time thing. I don't like I've it. I've decided to do it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't. Do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I just don't like that one. That particular one? Yeah. All right, I'll come up with something else yeah. next time. I'm not going to do it now. Though. I don't know if everybody gets it right away. I don't care if they don't get it right away. I know, away. but that's all the They'll fun. They'll get it after 17 episodes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Touche. <laughs> yeah. While you're there, check out our sibling podcast. There is Life on the Road with 60 East. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Uh, all right. Brrr. Okay. Isn't that what we're going to do? Yeah, I don't care. Some kind of... With cookbook, really and that's it. I'm just gonna say cookbook. Okay. Orchestrated with Noah James and Lisa J. That's the show that they have on our network. Yeah. But they also have like 17 other shows on their network. Yeah. Check that out. The too. Orchestrated Podcast Network. Orchestrated Podcast. I'm trying to get network. on some of those shows. I like that. They're flagship shows on our channel. Uh, yeah. But the, all the rest of it is on 
that their own names channel. That's what they should be doing. Yeah, that's get yours, Noah. Yeah. Why isn't this all card the crappy awesome network? That's what it should be. What? What? <laughs> Uh, Kali <laughs> uh, hosts Proof of Life Radio. Yeah, hey, that's my homie. <laughs> that's okay. good. Yeah, duh. <laughs> status also hosts Status Escalates. Yeah. And not on this particular network, he hosts uh, Bars Weekly yeah. on Dash Radio. Dash Radio. Radio, radio. Yeah. Well, that's enough. Every fact. Friday. Yeah. Five o'clock. He's going to step down from one of these three shows. Dun, 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 dun. We can't announce which one. Yeah. Which means there will be a new host. That'd be funny if he stepped down from Crappy Awesome. He wasn't even a host yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, He's like I'll just keep these three then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just keep hosting. No, next week we're just going to add another show to the network yeah. that Kali also hosts. Yeah. Proof of Life 2. He's like, he is the busiest man in hip hop. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good description for Kali. Yeah. The busiest man in hip hop. The Ghetto Blaster podcast hosted by Ricochet. Yeah. Pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. By Muds One. Mudsy. Hosted by Muds One. Mudsy. I like saying it. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, my friend. It's, it's pretty fresh. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty yeah. fresh shit. Yeah. Well, it's Make Italian. It Italian. Oh, okay. I like it. I was thinking more, it's like, yo, is that shirt new? Eh, it's pretty fresh. Mm. That's very Muds One's personality, though. It is. Yeah. Hey, also, like an friend. Italian, though. Pretty fresh. Uh. Pretty fresh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. The Two Max Hologram Podcast, going long and strong and down to get the friction on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, we should, that was we awesome. should do that from now on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love that. It's I mean, it's like it's like meta. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's levels to that yeah. joke. Yeah. That was almost that was a perfect joke. Oh wow. That was a perfect joke. And the more we talk about it, the better it gets. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Tumex is back on K Day with Water the Plants. Yeah. At two AM Saturday night, Sunday morning. That means like when you're Please, I hope you're not driving home at 2 a.m. No, night. you're Ubering. You're it. Ubering home. You no, can tell Lyft. the Uber Lyft. Lyft yeah, Lyft fuck Uber. Yeah. You're telling your no. Lyft driver, can you please switch it over to K-Day because I need to hear 2 Max. Yes. And if you only live five minutes from it the club. It actually sounds something like this. Oh, you can play Steph <laughs> uh, <to> the Max. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it'll sound like. That's what it's going to sound yeah, like. That's but true. you can translate it. And right. your driver's like, what? <laughs> Oh, God, just Till back. <laughs> play more of that 90s Euro dance and hopefully yeah. he'll shut up. <laughs> uh, anyway, Water to Plants, 2 a.m., K-Day, uh, yeah. and also to makes Hologram Radio. That's 24 hours streaming uh, hip-hop infused, but not all hip-hop. It's just it's a music. Yeah. It's all kinds of independent it's music. It's free. And um, you can listen to it on a variety of channels, uh, uh, platforms, I mean, but we highly recommend TuneIn Radio. Uh, so look up Tumix Hologram Radio. The links to all that is, of course, at platformcollection.com. Yes. Shout out to our responders. Stay some... Yeah. Aww. Fuck. This is almost a Shout out to, I have a canker sore on my tongue. <laughs> Let me tell you that. It's been hard to talk. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to our <laughs> sponsors. <laughs> Stay illuminated. For all your fresh gear and lifestyle needs, <laughs> visit StayIlluminated.com. Yeah. Oh, my God. We are, of course, recording this, actually. Are we still doing the no shipping thing? Is it uh, still? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank God, because we announced it on the last one. Yeah. Um, we're, of course, recording this show at Stay Illuminated Studios. Yes. Yeah. Yes. On the first floor, though. <laughs> yeah, on the first floor of the studios. Yeah. Not, not in the backyard. But they don't let us upstairs. <laughs> you can get free shipping right now. Yes. Whatever you order from stayilluminated.com. Free shipping. Free shipping? Free shipping. We've gone mad. Uh, that's crazy, Tony. Yes. Slashing prices. <laughs> We did this exact This is amazing. Joke on the last one. Yeah, I think that's we should so stay funny. consistent. Yeah, yeah, that's good. The code is stay ill17. Yes. We should at some point change the number. Because, well, because why? Because we explained it last time. We did? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. stay ill uh -huh. is the name of the, like, stay illuminated. Oh, yeah, is that yeah. what it means? And then 17 is the year. They're super creative oh, about it. Oh, it's the year. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, can we talk to the marketing company about that one? What's the marketing department? Let's get something a little more complicated. Can we change it to just a rock? Can we, can we get a crap? <laughs> yeah. Hey, can we get a crappy awesome code? I would like to be the code. Can we yeah. do that yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, right now. Hey, that's how you got to make these these things happen, We're bro. So professional, so this, professional. This is what you're seeing is God's yeah. work. No, he puts this, down this his Heineken God's and work right walks over to the. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Uh, okay. And so crappy awesome. <laughs> check it out. It's the code. Yeah. Crappy awesome. Okay. Yeah. Crappy awesome is the code. Yes. Not a rush. No, not a rush. <laughs> okay. What? 
<laughs> Crappy awesome is the code. <laughs> Uh, God. Yeah. Also, people are creative partners over at waterplants.org. It yeah. is a music incubator in LA. We spoke about it endlessly a few episodes ago. Yeah, go check it out. We won't tell you which it's episode. Called, it's, no, it's called Kristen and Rosh Water the Plants. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We talk about it a lot. So, yeah, waterplants.org. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Platform Collection and on Twitter at Platform Collection. <laughs> Platform Collection. Shut up. I need That's water. What you said. It's because I have that canker sore on my tongue. <laughs> And of course, uh, shameless plug, Burner Podcast. That's uh, hosted by yours truly. That is over at burnerpodcast.com. It covers the Burning Man community and all that bullshit. Uh, tell them about Stitcher, iTunes, and the. Yeah, if you're listening speaker. to this on Stitcher, iTunes, TuneIn Radio, go over to platformcollection.com. You forgot the last one. Oh, and Spreaker. Spreaker. Yeah, go over to platformcollection.com. Listen to every episode all the way back to episode zero. You can also check out the largest hip hop podcast network Crappy awesome. in the world. Crappy Awesome is the code. Yeah, I know, man. Making things happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm blazing Done. a trail, bro. Okay. You see that? Blazing something. I, I I filled out the proper paperwork. I sent it upstairs. Yeah. Tony stamped it, sent it back down. Okay, Boom. Good. That's the way it happens. As long as it didn't get caught in that other department that all of our paperwork seems to keep getting caught in. Yeah. It's super annoying. The one where Lino works in. Yeah. They don't do anything there. They just turn up. <laughs> <laughs> it's and a have whole amazing, floor of amazing turn up. hair. <laughs> and right. barbers. Yeah. Yeah, Linoski's here. I don't think I've seen a light so beautiful Mike just sing a full song to that thunderstorm Roof leaking but it don't really matter though Put a bucket under that ceiling and yo we good to go 1990 something had a Game Boy Color And another song explained my relationship with Carla Back then I didn't know that we were poor Because everyone around us had the same looking door And the same looking floor And the same damn smile every time our team would score Everybody yelling goal yeah, those were the days. Imagination was the best way to play games. I wish my age was a single digit once more and play war every single time I got bored. Bam, bam, fake guns wet my fingertips and later on I stopped after gun killing incidents. Yo, whatever happened to our innocence? These militant little kids, sons of immigrants, imprisonment seems to be tradition, not coincidence. I chose my voice as my weapon of influence. I chose my voice as my weapon of influence. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, dog. People discriminate. And I spent all my life working hard to be equivalent. And then I realized no matter how you put it, you'll never be the good kid. You just gotta get through it. Sometimes I really wonder who I am. That college boy with etiquette or hoodlum with friends. I walk around with chucks, but I own a pair of dressing shoes to keep me undercover when the piggies go arresting fools. But to be honest, I feel comfortable in both. So I feel a little lost, don't know where to swing my boat. But deep down, man, I know that I ain't one of them. Got love for the streets and my homies, I stay loving them. Listen to my heart. That shit beats hard. I got a deadly combo, homie. Book smart and street smart. 1990 something had a Game Boy color, and it's 2014. I'm not the same boy, brother. Yo, whatever happened to our innocence? These militant little kids, sons of immigrants, imprisonment seems to be tradition, not coincidence. I chose my voice as my weapon of influence. I chose my voice as my weapon of influence. I chose my voice as my weapon of influence. Who's on the show? Oh, Linoski hey. hey. with, with three eyes. At the end of it. Yeah. At the end of it. <laughs> no, at the beginning. If you start an app, would it be I Linoski? Ooh. No. I Linoski. Is that too Whoa. played out? Whoa, that's a shit yeah. of eyes. That's yeah. a lot of eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Why that's not? deep too, man. It's like, it's like spiders it's have very that layered. many eyes. Like insect eyes. It's like more eyes in like Mississippi. Yo. Yeah, Mississippi Whoa. has a lot of eyes. Where are we going with this? Uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll go wherever Linoski takes me. Fuck yeah. <laughs> with that haircut. I'm just, to, I'm just trying to. You take it somewhere because if I take it somewhere right now, we're yeah. gonna fucking just. Oh man, we might want to go there. No. Dude. Take like, it. Where do you want to go? You're, wait, you're fresh off the No Label Festival. Oh yeah, man, that was tight, right? man. You guys on a high note. In case you didn't know, Linoski is from that crew. Yep. Um, and you guys tore it down yesterday, I heard. Yeah, man. Like, uh, we hope so. Thing, the fans are always there, you know, so that shit's yeah. always tight. Uh, mm. So it's always cool, man, just going out and just... I like. I kind of like to hang out in the crowd just because yeah. I'm still a fan myself, you know yeah. what I mean? So I kind of I'm always in the in the crowd and shit and, like, people show love, so that's kind of tight. How rare is it for you guys to all get together like that? 
Uh, performance wise. Performance wise, I think uh, I don't think we've ever done one like that. You know? Really? Really? Or I think. Oh, actually, we have. Yeah. We have. We have, we have done it, but like not on a big scale like that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we on have a done festival perform- style. Yeah, performances together and stuff. Did you guys close? No, right? No, no. Uh, King Little G. Right. Okay. That's awesome, man. Yeah, man. So that was yeah. a good. Experience. Yeah, Instagram was, was blowing up for your guys' yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, I that's how I watched it. almost the whole show. Oh shit! No way. Yeah, mm-hmm. I still need to go check it out, man. Uh, I haven't gone on Instagram. I've been sleeping the whole day because last night it was it was last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was fucking just dog. I just woke up. Yeah. Like, before coming to the show. Yeah, dude. in your house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, cool. I did, yeah. Well, at least made, you made it yeah, home. I was, at least I made it. I made it home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, remember the first time you were on the show? You were talking about how you're gonna like quit rapping after you're done with school. <laughs> I'm not done with school yet. Though. Okay, all right. Okay. That's yeah, still going on. <laughs> his trick is that he just keeps enrolling in school. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah that it. way he's not lying. He's like, yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna fuck around for a while while I'm in school. <laughs> yeah. What major are you now? I can tell you all the ah, yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> Wait, frozen ones? Yeah. <laughs> nutritional, <laughs> nutritional science. Uh, yeah, I just I, I feel like in the time that we've known you. And since we met you from the very first show, we've watched you, you know, further and further getting lost in this identity of the nose key. Yeah. With yeah, the I three know. eyes. Which I felt like when you first came on the show, I felt like you were so against, like you were fighting it. You're like, I don't really want to be, I'm not a rapper. I the don't reluctant really rapper. Be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, dude, like, I don't think you, I think I remember telling you on the first show that I don't think you understood like the wave had already started. Yeah. Like it wasn't going to, like you have no control over that now. Yeah. How long, and, how many years ago was that? The, the first time he was on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Four or five? 2013. Yeah, Four holy fuck! Yeah, I just dude, uh, no, no, I've been waiting for our our told I told you so conversation literally since that show. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> we're not quite there, but you know, because he's still in school. But yeah. we're gonna do this again. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll really tell. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah. Once December. you're an adult. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna quit rapping in December. I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually working on a new project right now. Yeah. yeah. So then, what do you? What does that consist of? Oh, yeah. Where are you? What direction are you going with that that new project? Uh, Did he just kiss his bicep? Yeah, he's like, I'm so <laughs> pretty. <laughs> I was burping on my <laughs> arm, but yeah. I wasn't kissing my bicep. <laughs> just as good, guys. just as good. Uh, well, I linked up with this producer from San Jose. And yeah, shit. his name's Rhythmatical. Yeah, uh, and that fool's like real dope. You know what I mean? Uh, he makes like very like chill vibe type beats and shit. You know? Yeah. So I felt like a. Uh, I felt like I was like, whoa, this is the type of shit that I like. Yeah. Uh, but he also he's also growing and he and like experimenting with his beats too. You know what I mean? So. Uh, so I, I are thought, you experimenting more? So I thought it was kind of like, like yo, we're on the same wavelength. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. So I was just like, oh, cool. Like uh, I'm pretty down to go work with that guy. And like uh, we met. Uh, it was the first time we've met. We've only had conversations and shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went over and then I met that fool and it was all. It was dope. It was just this. Were you guys already working together before you started? Nah, I okay. kind of like jacked some of his beats, and I was like, yeah. "Yo, man, I took these beats from your SoundCloud. Is that tight or what?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, do, do you do you agree or yes or yes? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. That's or no. What, or pretty no. Pretty much. That's what I said. Yeah. You did that Mexican I mean? thing. Also, also, no. also, your girlfriend's here right now too. Yeah. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. nah, 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 not at all. Don't worry, we're gonna be famous. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he was just like, yo, for sure, man, like, you know, like, use whatever you want on my SoundCloud. Like, I had messaged this guy. I was like, yo, man, I've, been, I've been following your work, yeah. like, for a while. I was just wondering, like, how we can go, like, around mm-hmm. and working. I was like, uh, can I use this beat from your SoundCloud? I had already recorded a fucking song. <laughs> Regardless, you know what I mean? He's like, please, 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 like, please, please. <laughs> that was like, yo, man, he's like, I'm a fan of that one song you got, uh, fucking Redefined. He's like that shit. That shit was my jam. Like every. He's morning. like, I also like that song you did, Silly Rabbit. <laughs> like a completely different artist. No, he was like, he's so like, you're not Yo. self. No, but like it was Linovsky? tight. Like I reached out and this fool knew who I was, so that was tight. You know, That's that awesome. Was, that was fucking dope. Which is always weird to me that you're always surprised by that because yeah. we had this conversation all the fucking time. <laughs> just like nah, because this fool's like dope, bro. You know what I mean? So I was just what, like, what kind of like what's the vibe? Like if we hear the new shit, is it shit like we've heard before? Um, or? Probably, mm-hmm. most likely. But it's it's like uh, it's a lot more grown. You yeah, know what I mean, like as far as what, topic like, wise, the lyrics. You know, what yeah. I mean? uh, 
You're making grown folk music. Yeah, pretty much yeah. grown folk music. Wow. And Lenowski's uh, all grown up. <laughs> grown up. Yeah, he's all grown up. Is he adding more eyes to his name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nah, four now. But then there's also other beats, you know, like uh, what I'm doing here is like uh, um, it's like different types of drum patterns now, you know? Yeah. I mean? But it still, it still has the same the same aura to mm -hmm. it. You know, you yeah. Know what I mean? You mean like, can I throw out like trappy? Uh, not trappy. More like yeah. maybe like 808s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What's, what's Tony saying in the background? Diggable planets. Diggable right? planets. Okay. But no, really? But it's kind of, nah, but it's kind of like, it's still kind of like boom bappy, mm. but like yeah. not completely ish. You know yeah. 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 Still That's kinda, awesome. It's still, man. It's still kind of just like, you so know? you're experimenting. Well, like baby steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's important. Uh, it's, oh, wait, wait, ahead. wait. I'm sorry. We got to ask you, what do you think about SP's new record? Hey, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We were just, we, we were talking about it on the last episode with Ilsamar. Yeah, we were talking yeah. about like, I think me personally, this is his like best work. Yeah. Because. Everything, promoting wise. Yeah, everything. Wise. Like everything. You just uh, seen him like, like. Cause this is, dude. Honestly, I've said it. I've said it on this show. I thought it could have gone one of two ways. It was either at this point where he was at career-wise, he was gonna need to push it, like out of the box where he was at, to show that he's grown as an artist, or he was gonna continue along the way he was, and he'd probably not lose like popularity. But I don't know what the future would look like. And he decided to be like, you know what? I'm going to be exactly who I am right now because I am into other shit now. Yeah. I'm not the 16 year old kid anymore. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, we yeah. said we said on the last show, like, he's in the wine. He goes out. You know what I mean? Like, he's a single, like 25 year old man, and that's way different than a 16 year old boy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, so it's uh, it's really dope to see like how that whole thing came together. Did you know, like, did you have a feeling this was going to happen? Oh, he him? was growing already. You yeah. Know what I mean, he's, oh, he's always been growing. He's always been improving. Yeah. Uh, cause like literally this is like his shit. This is all he does. You know? Yeah. 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 This is where his fucking heart and fucking mind is. Yeah. 24 fucking seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's, I've seen him grow a lot since when I first met him to like the type of sound that he has now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just, that's just always been him. He's always been grinding always. You know, he never stops working. Correct me if I'm wrong. It was, was yesterday, was yesterday the first time that he performed the new song in front of a crowd like that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah how did, how did they, how was the crowd? It was, it was dope. They loved Honestly, it. I, I was just lost within the crowd with my crew up yeah. on stage. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like forgot about the crowd out there yeah i was just vibing out with my homies so it was that's like real, awesome. it was real dope you know it was real dope to vibe with the homies and shit. that's cool man okay so you're growing obviously yeah i gotta artist. ask like okay. uh, you you obviously know what your growth kind of like trajectory has been do you observe other artists and like see people who aren't growing and think like use yourself as a litmus test for that? Like, I don't know, is that something that you consciously pay attention to? Like, yo, it's time to grow. It's time to evolve to the next step. Or is it well, something that's just happening without paying attention to well, it? Well, honestly, quite honestly, like to, like for other artists, I really don't like care what they do. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. As long as, fuck it, that's what they like to do. That's what they're doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever been like, oh, I want to hear some different shit from this artist, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, cause, yeah, but even like yeah. with yourself, like oh, how, do you, yeah. with how myself, do you observe that? With myself, I'm just like... What does it look like from Lenoski? What does it look like to Lenoski that Lenoski needs to grow? Oh, dog. Yeah, I've been battling with that shit. That's why I haven't released anything in like the fucking... I think uh, since 2015, yeah. I think maybe, you know what yeah. I mean? That Lino Skywalker project. Right. Um, Which was like I, fresh off the, the project right before it. Yeah, right. Uh, so headphones you, only. Yeah, right? so you had done like two back to back projects. I did it on one year and then the following year I released yeah. another one. Probably yeah. should have waited, huh? So you've been <laughs> off <laughs> you've been off for a year? Uh yeah, probably yeah, a year well, and a half. A year and, maybe, and a half. Yeah, yeah, maybe going on two. Uh not not recording. But not though. really though. Yeah, yeah. It feels like th this is what I feel like from an outsider looking in. I feel like watching on a high note. Like the stuff that Bobby does. Yeah, Bobby, dude, Bobby's grown right. fucking so much. You know? Exactly. And it's undeniable. And then people waiting to see what how self-provoked was gonna come out. And then he knocks it out of the park. I think that still, even now, feeds into everybody else. Like there's people that are discovering self-provoked for the first time, and then they just do what everybody else does. 
just go down the rabbit hole and then they discover you. So I think you've been able to stay relevant and then you'll do shows. You'll come out yeah. every once in a while and do shows. And I think you've been able to stay relevant because of all that. And I put up a couple like like singles with no promotion on SoundCloud. Dude, yeah. SoundCloud fucking – I didn't know I had Matt fucking listeners there daily. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> of course just like, you didn't. I uploaded a fucking <laughs> song on there. It was a remix to this so- like LA Confidential. You know? Yeah. And I put it on there like, hey, it's a remix. I'm not going to promote it on like YouTube or anything. I put it on SoundCloud <laughs> and it fucking like – I forgot about it. And I check on it like two months later or something or a couple months later and it had like – Yo, like 17,000 plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's at like, you know, like 30 something, I think. I was like, yo, damn, I gotta pay more attention to my my SoundCloud folk. Yeah, yeah, Lenoski. All my SoundCloud listeners, I really love (laughs) y'all. Yeah, okay, sure. what's up with SoundCloud right now? Are they about to go bankrupt? I know. Sure. I heard I Chance like... stepped in, right? Oh, he did? Stepped in and bought it? Yeah, well, that's what I... Uh, the last I heard that was Chance had put out to his audience, don't worry, he was going to save SoundCloud. Wow. I haven't followed up. Can you look that up, Eddie? Just yeah, yeah, I'd like to know what's yeah, going on with SoundCloud. Nuts, cause I was like, uh, and SoundCloud. It took me a while it to get those followers on SoundCloud. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. SoundCloud is like really important to so many... I can tell you it's, it's important to Burner Podcast. Like, that's yeah. where half of our listens come from. Well, I think what... What's happening over outside SoundCloud is they envision themselves, though, as more of an iTunes. And what it's become is more of, like, a better band camp. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, where indie artists use it a lot. And it's only exactly what you want. Their music. Okay. That's it. So There's they have no a Napoleon bullshit. complex is what they have. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. for a while they were, like, going after all the DJs and, like, yeah, they were banning trying to stop DJ mixes. Mixing. Yeah. We're like, motherfucker, yeah. this is, you know how it... This is a huge part of so many different people's livelihood. They're yeah. making a lot of dumb shit decisions. So yeah. is the question like so we're looking up if, if Chance the Rapper is like stepped in. Yeah, what happened to SoundCloud? Uh, if it worked. Up. Let's see. SoundCloud, Chance the Rapper. Yeah. Oh. The internet. It's okay, I have it the internet. Yes. Um, keep talking about SoundCloud while I look that up. Yeah, well well I think No I... Chance the Rapper isn't okay. saving SoundCloud. No. <laughs> that's what that's what now Toronto oh, says three wow. days ago. Poor, well, then there goes SoundCloud. Yeah. Yeah, Lenowski, say bye to you. <laughs> say if, bye to my audience. If the music streaming website is to survive, it needs to develop a realistic vision of what it has to offer. Cheap, easy hosting and streaming for independent music. Yeah. Yeah, apparently. Is, is it? You know what it is? is? Are they like Yahoo? Remember like Yahoo was desperately trying to compete with Google or something? Oh. Like, fuck, stop. You're not going to be Google. Let it go. Yeah, yeah. Or like MySpace. You know, yeah. like they kept desperately trying to compete with Facebook. Stop. Yeah. Like support independent music. That's where the people are on MySpace. And now MySpace is, you know, nowhere to be seen. Isn't MySpace like, it, it is having like a resurgence though. Are they? Yeah, on a very like. like a retro like, thing? Nah, it feels very like niche. Okay. Like there's a, there's certain types of music that are like gro- growing and blossoming on MySpace space right now yeah it's just not hip-hop because hip-hop isn't seen as as a whole as un, being an underground thing because it's not it's a universal it's been at the highest levels of pop culture yeah. it's not something you're discovering you know everybody knows what hip-hop is what you're doing is discovering artists and that's what like soundcloud did for a lot yeah. of independent artists yeah. because of the stream what it would feed you every morning or you know every time you checked it myspace was definitely holding a place for um like band camp because yeah. the, 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 with MySpace, you could have like your own personal profile, but then you could use that to go and navigate yeah. bands and like artists like that had their page up with Bandcamp. Yeah, yeah, and with like so MySpace, MySpace was a great place for that, and like they just they needed to double down on that rather than continuing to try to chase after Facebook. Yeah, but this is where corporate America fucks it up by not understanding what's going on. You know what's level. crazy though is <clears throat> Facebook is having a resurgence again. Did you they know were that? Gone? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it started to dip with a, an age group. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like it started to just be like for your parents, Gosh. like for, and they were very afraid of that for a minute, and they started to double down on live, um, mm, yeah, yeah, because yeah. our parents won't watch live. Yeah, they won't sit there because they don't know how to like make it work, yeah. you know. And so they doubled down on live and streaming video, and. I think that's you're going to see Instagram implementing more into Facebook. Yeah. Because uh, from what I hear, the next social media, everything is voice and live. Everything. Like mm. like people are like trying to get on Alexa already, you know, because it's a whole new language to be on Alexa, which is the little talking thing in your house. Yeah. But if you can go. Wait, what little talking thing in my house? <laughs> oh, not in your house. I'm sorry, <laughs> okay. Rosh. Don't get scared. Right, Don't get scared. Yeah. You can uh, buy this talking thing. That's fucking scary. Um, and then you you basically say like, "Hey Alexa, let me hear hip hop," 
and if it, it's going to follow your algorithm from the internet, so it's already going to know what you like. It's going to know where you've been. So right now, the competition, I can tell you as a brand, it, it's no secret, we're competing for a spot when they go, can let me hear hip hop, or what's the latest hip hop out, that platform collection ends up somewhere you know, on the front page. So that's the business that's happening right now. Yeah. And that's all based on voice. You're not even seeing anything. It's just voice. And then live is because all live is is the resurgence of the YouTube idea, except now our technology has caught up. I, I mean, I, my phone shoots in 4K yeah. live. Fuck. So that's, well, that's a TV station, you know, in your pocket. So once you can do that. With really shitty programming. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, <laughs> and it's just resurgence again. Yeah. So if you – because here's the thing. All you're doing is competing in the social media world. If you know how to compete in the social media world, you can make your own TV show because you understand that it isn't about necessarily the content at first. It's about getting in front of as many faces as possible. So if you can buy your way into that, which you can because mm -hmm. Instagram is super cheap right now. Facebook is super cheap right now. And and you can buy your way definitely into the like the, the eyes in front of the eyes of people that are really into your shit. Yeah. Because you're using their multi-billion dollar algorithm that they found, that they use on you to figure out what to sell you. You can buy into that. That's what you're doing when you're buying a Facebook ad. You're using their algorithm. Because if you had to do that on your own, you couldn't. That's just the truth. You can't. You're just giving me ideas right now. Yes. about Because I'm, I'm working on another project. Uh, are you quitting again? Again, for the third time. <laughs> like this time, I'm out. I, 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 like throw my phone down and walk out. And I come back. Oh wait, that's my phone. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm not ready to like announce it publicly yeah, yeah. yet. But uh, but the next thing that I'm working on, um, it just right now, just having this conversation reminded me of yeah. like how what a great time it is right now to double down on the human connections. Yes. Um, because for a long time, like when events, like when like the event invitation thing got really big in Facebook or initially. It very much got to the point where, like, every invite that we got, we just weren't even paying attention to yeah. it anymore. And the handful of people that were getting people showing up to the events were the ones that picked up the phone. Yep. Like, I'm going to take it old school and call people up directly mm. and say, yo, I'm throwing this party. I want you to come. Yep. And people will come. So I feel like right now with everything going directly, like, so much more technology, more video, more voice, for this next venture – I'm going to try to find a way to double down on like the one-on-one -on -one human connection. Well, I think rather what, than like the mass blasting of information. This is what's going to happen is that technology is going to allow you to do that yeah. in a better way than you can do it like on foot face to face. In what way? Because that's, that is where everything's going. Yeah. Right now it's really about HR and not PR. Yeah. Like across the board in business. You're, nobody's winning big in business if all you're focused on is the PR. Yeah. Because people can see through it now. Yeah. You make your people make their own PR. He Linoski's on a show right now that's going to give him PR. Hey. But wait, what what show is he on right now? It, this is actually a show. We record this. Oh, oh this one. Okay. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. And I thought you were cheating on us. <laughs> <laughs> right in front no, of you. He's all standing here with a live. That's wait, weird. wait a minute. <laughs> but but that's what I'm saying. Like, so you can if you can do that live all the time, uh, and you have an audience, then you can literally package anything any way you want. And there it is. So it's literally cut out any need, period, for any type of large corporation. Like I told people nowadays, focus on money. Get money because it yeah. costs money to do all this shit. That's all that you should be fucking talking about. If Because if you're at a place where you feel this could go to the world, then we're not having a conversation of whether or not you're dope, right? Like otherwise you shouldn't even be like, what the fuck? Like if you're not even dope, like who cares? But if you're talking, if you're confident in your music and you're like, or whatever art you do, if yeah. you're that confident in it, double down on that. Yeah. And the only way to do that is to generate money to put back in yourself. That's yeah. it. There's no other way around it. You know what I mean? And I think it's very cheap to do that right now. Yeah. And I think what happens is most people just don't take the time to look into it. Like how many artists, Lenowski, have you le have you read? The advertising um, profiles for Facebook on how it works. 
Bro, I don't have Facebook. Okay. See, th- and that's what I'm saying. I think a oh, lot of that's artists. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I used to leave so many smart ass comments on your shit. Yeah. And I haven't done that in a long time. And I used to get a lot of joy from that. <laughs> <laughs> and you snatched that from No, me. this explains why I've been in such a shitty mood for the past yeah, year. It was the Noski. It was the Noski. You're why I. Fucking, but you're why was the you reason. bullied him off of Facebook. <laughs> you cyber, fucking asshole. I cyber bullied Lenoski. Yeah, no yeah. one should be made to feel that way. That's why I fucking deleted my shit. Lenoski, damn it! It's not your fault. Yeah, it's not your fault. Not your fault. Yeah, bro, it's not your fault, bro. Imagine, it's not your fault. Imagine somebody would have been stalking me, like everything I was doing, like yeah. a girl or something. They were. They crawled yeah. fans. Imagine. Yeah, they're called fans. <laughs> they were like listening to my music. And like yeah, talking yeah. about me, and they were like following me yeah. and stuff, and then like, like then then they had the nerve Instagram. to show up to my shows. Oh and my god, then, seriously! And then you feel bad because you can't answer all like everyone's messages. Oh, like, oh. And you're like fuck this emotional abuse. Yeah. This is this and is I what Curtis just, King. I just deleted it. So you know like, Curtis. Right? No, hold on, I wanted, uh, seriously. That yeah. was a, that was the reason you got off Facebook. I don't have to deal with this. Yeah, he told the story. Yeah, yeah, he was like very serious about it. Yeah. No, I was just like, man, this shit's annoying. Every post is annoying. Yeah, you remember that? Here's my ironic phase. Yeah. Yeah. Like fucking of these guys. Here are my nachos. You know? <laughs> oh, here, here's this fucking guy getting decapitated. Like, you know, like, <laughs> okay. Fucking, like. Wait, tell me more about the nachos. <laughs> <laughs> what what <laughs> Facebook is this you speak of? <laughs> yeah, this is Facebook. I don't know. I guess there's fucking, like, like you could put videos on Facebook, kind of like YouTube ish, you know? Now it's just people eating their nachos. Now it's just. just oh so my you know, god, is that, that, that what's that gonna happen? Hold on, is that what's gonna happen with video? That's, that's just sex and nachos. That's oh, where I god. left off. I don't that's know. That's the name of my next album, Sex and Nachos. Yeah. 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 And then I used to have a personal one, you know, the one that you got like your professors on and your family and all that shit. And then I was like, man, fuck this well, one. Well, you too. can't have one of those. I had one. I know, but you can't. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I deleted it. Yeah, that's why. But But what I'm saying is. You understand you can literally make that be whatever you want it to be. Like you have you have an audience and you could if you want only talk to your audience only. And all the other bullshit, you don't have to go. You could just check your own page, see my notifications and I'm out. And it's the, it's and the why that's so dope is cuz I'm telling you if I'm listening to your album, I'm bumping that shit yeah. and I send you a message on Facebook, and which you can do this now, which yeah. by the way, oh, I, yeah. everyone's gonna steal this from me right now. But you could pop, you could drop a fucking video response back to that person. Yo, thanks, man, for listening to my music. You know how dope that is if you're a Lenoski fan and he just sent me a fucking video. You know how many more people I'm gonna go tell to follow Lenoski because this dude's really about it? Mm-hmm. That's why Facebook is important. Oh, but here's, 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 the, here's the thing. It just dawned on me. <laughs> here's the thing, though. Like, uh, I was on it because I used to like going on my artist page on there because I used to do all that shit, yeah, you know? Right. I used to interact with them on Facebook and shit. Uh, and uh, it used to be tight. I just, I, I would fucking update my artist status like, hey, I miss you all. How y'all doing? What's up? And then, like, they would, like, comment and mm-hmm. I would just start mad random conversations, you know what I mean? Because, mm-hmm. I don't know, I thought that shit was tight. Yeah. And then Facebook did this thing where it's like, right. oh, this shit is only going to go to like 15% of your yeah. audience. Yeah. And if you yeah. want it to go to all your shit, then fucking pay like this much. Yeah. And I was that like, fucked a lot of I was yeah. like, man, fuck you. And I made this final post yeah. like, yo, I'm moving on over to Instagram. Go ahead and make sure you follow <laughs> yeah. me over there. Yeah. So you see me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm but on Instagram. you know that that's. Fuck you, Zuckerberg. Yeah. 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 They seem to ask me why I don't release songs often Why, why it take forever to put out a single project no. And if I did, you probably won't buy it Cause you think 10 bucks is too much for something out of time the fuck yeah. Work on your album for the course of a couple years And people think it's not worth your blood, sweat, and tears It doesn't faze me, I let these people be yeah. That's why I make this motherfucker EP for free Come on. Cause I don't think that you should pay if you don't think it's worth it Plus I'd always have to break bread with people that I work with That's cool. Which I don't mind, but in the end nobody's profiting Just hoping that you'll be People share my music for marketing Cause I ain't got a big ass fan base like some do And if you stuck around this long Just know that Lino loves you Sorry for lagging on the music Hope you understand I'm busy with my life right now Trying to be the man Feel me? Peace to my loyalists and chief supporters Those who stayed in my corner all 84 yeah. I disappeared for a hot minute, cause like you, I gotta pay the mortgage, just know that I'm not ignoring you. 
Believe me, it's not as easy as it seems. Trying to put food on the table while chasing dreams. An MC and had ever since I was a queen. So a hustle. Gotta stay laced in these 16s. But in the back of my mind, I know that everybody wants something for free. But if you dig in the music, would it kill you to buy a CD? Cause you don't seem to have a problem putting a G down on a brand new TV. So don't ask me why I canceled all my visuals like a Arsenio. I'm at the top of my voice, but y'all don't hear me though. But still I write this and ride inside. What's a pariah despise to inspire before my required demise? Not a hiatus, I just needed time to reconnect Lucky I got fans that stick around when other people left Just understand I hold standards to every single breath Relieving stress, I'm always making sure I lay these beats to rest People will pay if they love it, that's what I'm hoping now Been trying to find a way to make it rhyme and so I hold it down Post up and scribble until y'all feel what I've been through Delivering something real and you know it only continues Meticulous and concise with the written I choose to send you Hit you in the lab with the passion or at the venues Holding every hit, then releasing it to the clouds It's helping to keep me focusing deeper into the sound Despite the random times, keeping this pen around Still rocking these local shows with these people within the crowds I'm speaking until I drown Inside the thoughts I formulate, I'm sure to take my time If it's me and not even more You than know that that is what Instagram does, right? Yeah, isn't oh, it? Oh, Instagram the same exact well, thing well, is owned by, by Facebook. Facebook So, well, yeah, yeah But well, no, but this is what I'm saying, I hear you No, 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 the Facebook, the, the Facebook fan page Yeah makes you pay to even show up in front of like a quarter of your audience because it's yeah. a proven business yeah yeah now. but instagram doesn't do that if you're right. just, if yeah. you just have your instagram it's just the same audience no matter what yeah, yeah but for real. so so the game tell me about the game is to hack all that shit right uh-huh. so how do you hack that you can What's go a machete? you can go make a linoski personal page and interact. Not, if you're Lenoski, listeners. Yeah, if you're Lenoski. Don't you go and make a Lenoski. Fuck, page. everybody just made a Lenoski page right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yes. I'm pretty and then what doing. next? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can still activate Yeah, it. but what I'm saying is you can just do your personal page, run everything <laughs> off of there because the the whole fan page thing and the ratings and that, yeah. that shit's bullshit now. Yeah. Because it is, it is, you can just buy into it. By the way, anybody in the industry knows that. Yeah. So they don't pay attention to that. Like, it's not a big deal. Except that you, if you do have a ton of numbers, that means you can invest in yourself. So we can have partnerships now. Yeah. Because you've already proven that you can occupy that space. The only way you occupy that space is with money. How do you know that? Because that's the business. And the thing that happened at Facebook didn't just happen at Facebook. They're the ones who got, like, the most flack for it. But it happened across the board. Right. That's how Twitter works. That's how Instagram works. That's how all these things work, some form of that algorithm that you're only fed a certain percentage of things that you yourself have checked out on your own. Yeah. You know? It's, it's like I said. I don't see uh, – Eddie, Eddie and I follow each other. I don't ever see his posts. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because Instagram has determined that, oh, you don't interact enough with Eddie because he's right next to me. <clears throat> yeah, no, but every, yeah. Uh, every once in a while, though, um, it, it doesn't it feel like Facebook just, like, switches over to a new few people that, like, you haven't been seeing? And all I, of a sudden I, they just... I think it's just the yeah. algorithm. That and they, then people that I, out there. And people that I have been interacting with, like, just stop showing up on my feed. Yeah, because I think the algorithm never stops working. Yeah, it's like, like you it's know what? You talk adapting. enough to this person. Let's move you over to somebody new. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, weird. that is weird. Yeah. But that's the platform. How do you beat the platform? You just buy ad space. This works, by the way. You control exactly where you're going. And it's super cheap. Mm. If you're an indie artist, please look it up. Yeah, It's like stocks. Right now, it's very cheap. And it goes by country, by the way. Here's another one I'll give you for free. You understand that buying ads in other countries is cheaper than mm. in the U.S. You can work your market in a completely different market because wow. it's the stocks are low right now. I have a distribution So buy, Korea. buy, buy, buy. You do? Yeah. So you can go to Korea. You, I mean, well, you can go to Korea, but... The, you, wait, the good one, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, only in North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Lenovsky's big in North Korea. <laughs> that would Dog, be tight. South Korea, that shit was dope. I was yeah. like, what? Yeah. The fuck? This You're blowing up this. in South Korea. And so and like when it. you see that, Lenovsky, that part doesn't... Like, how do you answer the question? Well, well how hold do on. You... I'll elaborate. Yeah. Elaborate on that. What sort of ad are you buying? Like, what audience in South Korea? Are you just saying all of South Korea? No, I'm not, no, I'm no, not no, buying no. ads, bro. Okay. I have a, like, this dude. No, he has distribution. Distributes okay. my shit over there. He okay. needs to and buy ads, And then though. I get fucking royalties. Yeah. Like, from this shit. Every oh. six yeah, which, which they're probably buying. They're probably right. buying it. Hold on. And so, what what are you describing as far as buying ads? Like, okay. I want to buy, okay, I want to buy an ad on Facebook. Sure. Where, where do I start? I do this on the side, by the way, for everybody who knows. Okay. Uh, 
So you can pay if you go to Facebook, like what you want to advertise what? Let's say I want to advertise a burner podcast. Let's say I'm doing burner podcast. Okay, advertising. So the best way to go about it right now mm. is for you to pick an area geographically. Yeah. Um, most, I mean, as an indie artist is within your reach. Okay. If you can go there, pick it, you know what I mean? Consistently. I mean, like, so like Arizona, you could probably go there a lot if you had yeah. to, that's a good market for you to start pushing into without you spending a, a shitload of money. Right. Right. So you go in, you start advertising like Arizona, people who are into burning man, cause you can mm. be very specific. Yeah, yeah. Here's the age group. They're into podcasting. Yeah. So all all the people that are within that group are not all of them. There's a potential for all of that to happen. Mm-hmm. But there's going to be a percentage that are going to have your content land right in front of their face. Right. And it's going to seem organic and seamless. And mm-hmm. that's what you're paying for. So well, your I, I, goal I, I, I is would say to like make San that Francisco, content. I guess. Yeah. Like that content is what you're, is the game. Okay. How creative are you? And that's why I always fucking get down on artists for not advertising because that's being creative. Yeah. If you're creating content, that's the peak of creativity. I'm pushing out content all the fucking time. I'm constantly figuring out a way to touch you emotionally for you to press my shit. Mm-hmm. That's the game. And there's no way around that. And But the thing is, this is the best part, is it's super cheap right now. I'm talking you can put up $5 for a Facebook ad right now and come out anywhere between 10 to 30,000 views because what's going to happen is for someone like Linoski, if he just did that, right? Literally, Linoski just put fucking $5 on Is that him. what he's doing on his phone right now? He's probably, he probably just ran five ads right now. Okay. But he, it's uh, – Where he's not paying attention to the interview? <laughs> he's an issue. He's, he's taking notes. I'm actually calling my mom a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's blaming his mom for not Tony, buying ads. Tony, is he calling his mom? He's like, mama. <laughs> <laughs> but so you can be so specific yeah. and you can attack an area, which, like I said, when we work with artists, Eddie and I, like, we'll tell them it's within whatever reach you can. Yeah. Because you need to keep watering the plants, oh, pun intended. Uh, well done. But you need to keep doing that. Um, and if you can't financially do that because of whatever your resources are, then just go hard on where you're at. Yeah. And because you're not, you're, dude, you're barely touching 1% of where you're at. How hard? Hard. Okay. You, touch you know everybody. I mean. Go hard. Go hard. And touch everybody. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, yeah. Word. Just want to make sure that that joke was clear. Yes, I know. It's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Word up. All right, I got school. I just, right now, I was just taking like 15 notes and like sending them to myself. Dope. That's what I love about these shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always walk away learning some new shit. But you, you, you do see like once you have like that little part of information, mm-hmm. I'm sure your mind's going crazy of like, yeah, oh, yeah. I can do all. Yeah, and then it's fun. Yeah. Like to me, it's fun. Like it's it really is like fishing. Mm-hmm. You're just putting out. I'm gonna try this new thing to see if people, you know, am I explaining myself correctly? For me, as an artist, it's about am I how well am I explaining myself? Because I already believe in if I explain myself correctly, you're going to buy it. Right. I believe that. Otherwise, you shouldn't be doing this. You yeah. shouldn't be making. You shouldn't be trying to make a living off of music if you don't believe in your shit. So if you if you believe in your shit, then <laughs> all we're true. talking about is how much you want to invest in. Yeah. What do I mean? What if I just want to rap while I'm in school, and then after I'm done with that, I just I don't <laughs> like you just want to want to quit. Pretend to be a professor. Yeah. Do you yeah. think I should buy ads? Get a bunch of degrees. Yeah, yeah. Run marathons. Yeah. Like you're on vac- like you're on fucking vacation all day. Lenoski, long. get the fucking work. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You gotta get lit. Hey, bro. Tomorrow. Let's get it. Let's get Let's it. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, with that kind of enthusiasm. Hey, uh, yeah. No, yeah. Fucking um, shit is nuts, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so how are you, man? <laughs> fuck. Ow. Fucking, out. Fucking burnt. Are fucking. you? Were you sunbathing? I was not. No, he's Actually, just naturally golden. Uh, <laughs> well, you said I'm burnt. He's very Aztec. Well, how are we referencing brown. burnt? I'm brown. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm fucking brown. You are you? Brown. So where's school at right now? What's what's going on with that? Yo, I'm actually done in December. Are you teaching still right now, though? Yeah. On the side, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm done in December. I just have my final defense in December. So what what happens at that? Do you have to stand in front of people and stuff? Yeah, you stand in front of your Are you man. rapping for it? No. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, talk about that the, would be weird. Talk, like, no, talk about the defense uh, process. This okay. is actually it's pretty interesting, isn't it? Okay. So like, where do uh, you do the? So explain what you're. Yeah. What is that? I don't even getting know your, your 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 degree in. 
I'm getting my degree in motor behavior, which I do not expect you to know what the fuck that is. Explain that. But it falls under the branch of kinesiology. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn, this just sounds so much like school right now. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It man. But Trust about me. it. What is motor behavior? So, like, different... Is it, like, how the brain is connected to... To, like, limbs? Uh, to the muscles. Okay. And like, you know, how the brain works with the muscles. So, it's very, like, movement. specialized. It's more like, like motor development okay. as well, yeah. you know, and, like, motor so, control and motor learning. Why, so, if you deal, have, so, if you deal with you somebody who has, like, uh, who's had, like, a car accident, they've had brain damage, like, you're somebody who would have the understanding on how to work with them? Well, I have knowledge in that, but there's a specialized field in that called adapted physical activity yeah. okay. under kinesiology, and they work a lot with patients with, like, uh, disabilities like, like that. Like hands-on, right, right. you know what I mean? And it's just like, uh, what you're trying to do is trying to um, reconnect those neural connections to those muscles in order to get the mobility back into those limbs. And shit. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you're you're gonna weird. <laughs> so you're gonna have to actually no. so this is what wait this, hold on hold on dude have faith in your audience trust me yeah your audience gets what the fuck you're yeah. talking about don't worry we know yeah. what we're doing I swear to God yeah yeah no it's not that I'm worried <laughs> that they don't understand what I'm talking and they're about. not yeah. bored by it this yeah. shit is boring yeah that's what I was about to it's say it's not boring no, 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 to them no, though no if they're I, listening to this show look at look at look look yeah, yeah, the ladies no. in the house they're both like they they've listened to much more boring stories from like our lives they'll they'll listen yeah yeah okay what what is what what kind of degree is better than our jokes what what kind of degree is it that you're getting it's uh it's under it's under kinesiology i'm getting okay. a master's in kinesiology it's a master's degree okay yeah, so defense so how does a defense work like you, you have, have a thesis you, okay. know, you have a thesis and you fucking this is pretty much what you got to do to fucking mm -hmm. fucking get the fuck yeah. out and, and what what is a thesis exactly like break that down you choose a topic and you do research on it okay you know? for how long as long as it fucking takes you. How long have you been doing it? <laughs> Fuck, this is my third year. I'm You've been working on what, this one thing for three years. I started, I started, I started like a, a year and a half ago. Okay. Yeah. So what first, is, first you take classes. Yeah. Once you're done with your classes, you take additional classes that are considered units, but these are your thesis units. You know yeah. what I mean? Fuck no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so so, 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 like, so like every, every like for example like like a every college class mm. is. Most likely three units. Okay. Know? Okay. Every class is considered three units. Sometimes you might have a class and you have a lab with that goes along with that, and your lecture is two units and your right. lab is one right. unit. That makes it a three unit course. Yeah. Okay. Right. That part we get. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we went to San Diego State, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> we spent I mean, most of our right. time upside down with right. kegs. Yeah, but... we had a bar. <laughs> yeah. So I was an art major. You need to just everything. Everything past a degree, you gotta explain yeah. to yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So check it out. So then. <laughs> So, so yeah. then, so then, you fucking when you get your masters, you still take classes like that, right? Yeah. yeah. But uh, at CSUN, Cal State, Cal State Northridge, like six units is considered full time for a grad student. Okay. Mm. Right. Yeah. Which is pretty sweet because you pay like part time tuition. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's full. That's considered like full, full -time. time for a graduate student. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. you take classes, and then once you finish those classes, you got to finish extra units, right? Uh, Towards your thesis. Right. Right. But they're still you're still registered to classes, yeah. But they're not classes that you go to. They, those are just your thesis units. So you got to sit your ass down. You got to have some self discipline, <laughs> and you got to fucking lock yourself oh, well, out you for, go, for fucking eight hours, <laughs> and fucking yeah. write. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And fucking write. Yeah, pretty much. And so, so what is what was your thesis? Was it a specific topic? Uh, yeah, I work with children and their motor skills. Okay. Okay. So now the defense procedure, like, so you, you come up with a thesis, you write this paper, and then basically you have to stand in front of a, a board of experts yeah, and they're going to try to tear your shit apart and you have to like defend it. It's pretty much, that's yeah. exactly how the fuck it goes. You know what I mean? How but, many, how but what is yeah. the, like, what is, what is it that you're arguing? It, does it have to be like a new idea or like, yeah, it has to be like, like some, what sort are you defending? Of, some sort of research uh, re <clears throat> revolving around your, your field. That nobody else has done? No, nah, it could be anything you want. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. But, but it has to get approved. But you have to be able to yeah. prove it. Yeah. What Can you talk uh, about what yours is? Uh, well, yeah. Well, I work with children with motor skills. And, right. Uh, so my my uh, thesis chair, my professor that I work under, right, my advisor pretty mm -hmm. much in grad school, he developed an assessment tool that assesses children's motor skills in an easier fashion using pictures and using descriptions. Like, yeah. And you just kind of follow a decision tree. Did the child jump with one foot? If yes, you follow the upward decision tree and answer yeah. that second question. Okay. If no, you follow the bottom decision tree and answer that question. And he and invented it, and, this. Yes. And at, at the end, he followed patterns, you know, but he developed his own assessment tool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And so, like, and it'll only spit out, like, uh, 
depending on what you answered, it'll give you a level one, two, three, or four. One okay. being the lowest developed child, four being the highest developed. Oh, child. interesting. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, and so it's really easy to use with like minimal training. You right. Kind of that's kind of the goal right now. It's still in in the process of it. So that more people can be diagnosed right. correctly. So like the way they do wow. it now, like the way they do it now yeah. is kind of like you got to videotape them. Then you take that tape, you take it back to the lab, you play it in slow motion. Too many you, steps. You analyze every. Mm. You know, yeah. it's it's inconvenient for the physical educator at a K through five school that has. 25 minutes of recess with like 62 children. Yeah, it's almost uh, impossible. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you got to find a way to like try and assess all of that, you know? Right. And try to get it. That's uh, awesome. And so what, the thing is, he only has uh, his skill. It's it's like manipulative skills, like catching, throwing, yeah. you know, striking, and uh, locomotor skills, which is like movement through space. So walking, jumping, running, galloping, humming, yeah. right? And... Uh, there's an imbalance in between the scales. So yeah. I added two skills to the locomotor test. Yeah. I added vertical jumping and I added galloping. So mm. the, what I'm doing now is I'm making sure that uh, I came, like, we came up with the criteria together. Yeah. Right. The criteria as to what, what discriminates. Because it's important to have the criteria because based on their questions, it's either a one or a four. One, yeah, two, yeah, three, yeah. Four. So we and everything has criteria. to fit in there somewhere. So these are yeah. rating skills. So I created two rating skills. And now I'm testing for reliability of this. So I had to go and film fucking like 60 children. Wow. Uh, With their parents' permission. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, pretty much. Who may or right may now. not be Linoski fans. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I'm doing it. Uh, okay. What's it called? Wait, so you have to prove that those two movements... No, I have to prove that the rating skills work. Mm. So we pretty much, we gave all 60 children, we gave them all like a rating uh -huh. between my professor and I. And like what we're doing now, it's like, yo, let's see if this, these skills work. You know, Because right. the other ones have already been good. All right. right. Let's see if these two work. So I have to recruit 30 more like participants yeah. from Cal State Northridge wow. that are adults and be like, okay, this is how you use it. Use it and I rate these videos and let me see if your scores match mine. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Like, a, like a do, double blind. If it if it works, then yeah, this skill is good. Right. If it doesn't, then it's like, oh shit, we did something wrong. That's you know? interesting. But then aside from doing that, we're gonna compare them, like from this raider and yeah. that raider, and see if they matched. Yeah. You know I mean? oh. Just to get that reliability. So and so now you have to stand in front of, obviously, is it other professors or like yeah, experts three, in the field? Three fucking professors with a PhD. Three fucking professors. Three fucking professors. Three fucking professors three with fucking a professors. fucking HD. Play ahead of degrees? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully not, right? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. So um, you got to make them swoon. By the way, so for the listeners, like this is why like stuff like this is fascinating because yeah. like we've talked about school. I mean, all the times you've been on, mm -hmm. but I, I would imagine that to any first of all, it's been a while since you've been on. Yeah. Second, to a lot of listeners, it might just be like an abstract thing, like oh yeah, he's also in school. But the fact that y there is this whole other section of your life that you treat with just as much attention, focus, and passion as you do with the side of you as an artist, that's important, I think, for people to grasp. Yeah. Like, you're not Complete only distort. doing... Right, yeah. Because, like, we, we've met so many artists that are like this. You do these other things. And there was a time in um, pop culture history where, like, it was seen as, oh, you're not really an artist because you're doing this other thing. Yeah. But that's bullshit, though. It's 2017. It's about to be 2018. We have the resources to do multiple yeah, things. Yeah, people do multiple things. <laughs> yeah. And multiple things affect each other. Yeah. And it's not just like, oh, I, oh I'm stuck doing this other yeah. thing, I guess. No, like, Lenoski gives a fuck about this other thing yeah, that he's yeah. working on. But what you can't get trapped in mm. is going, well, I can't do the other like the creative side yeah. as much as i'm doing this thing right you can it's you're literally just making trades at certain times yeah you're balancing it's a balancing thing the and and what i'm saying is there's enough technology now mm -hmm. to make that even easier yeah, yeah you know you shouldn't have that big of a problem and i, I want to know i'm curious uh i'm gonna I'll, manage lenoski by the way all the i'm gonna is, sign is him aware right of after that? the show okay <laughs> it's just he needs it is he, how has your life as an academic affected your life as an artist and vice versa? Like, do you feel any, like the way that you, like, do you, is there things you've learned in your experiences on stage that you feel have prepared you, for example, on how you're going to deal with like these academics? In yeah, I can't imagine that you're going to be that like, It's more like, uh, yeah, it's just like talking to people, you know? It's yeah. kind of like, oh shit, I've talked to like 500 people at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like when I have this class, it's kind of like, 
if it's only like 20 people. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, what? And you, yeah. Yeah, but the yeah. 500 people aren't trying to like rip, like shred your, you know, your Yeah, but have apart. you seen him? Well, you have seen him perform. Yeah. Uh, like, as I see it when you perform, like, you definitely have like a, like an MC battle attitude sometimes what? when you're, when you're, what? When you're spitting How your lyrics, you? there's no doubt about that. So I kind of feel like... Maybe that was just the last No, nah, I feel... This is what I feel like. I feel like you're not worried about your confidence in what you, you're capable right. of doing. And I think when somebody does that, that is what comes out. You're kind of just like, I don't... Yeah. I, I, don't there's just I know what I'm me, doing. It's part of me that's yeah. just like... that. Like You run marathons, yeah, bro. <laughs> you don't, no, you don't no, do that. That's the question <laughs> yeah. right there. Are you, are you nervous at all about the, your defense? Uh, hell yeah, I'm nervous as shit. Of what? What it's are you just, nervous of? I don't know, man. It's just like you like, missed something. It's like these fools are experts in their field. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So Are you? And I'm saying, so are you nervous about the content or your delivery? Like, no, I'm, stand I'm not up worried there. about my delivery. I'm not worried about that. It's kind of right. like I'm worried that they might ask some PhD ass question about that you one, might not one know. Of things. Yeah, and right, it's just right. Like, I don't want to be that guy that I'm like stuck there. Like, I don't. I wouldn't know how to. Dude, do that, I'm man. just gonna I'm just gonna submit. Just start freestyling, dude. Of all, I've I've had plenty of friends that have had defense, like that yeah. had to do defenses. They're usually nervous about all of it, yeah. Because most people don't have that confidence of standing in front of people, yeah. <laughs> and like you've been doing all. So hip hop is already gonna be contributing right. to your career in that aspect. Definitely. Yeah. Like you're not worried at all about standing up there and talking in front of people. Like that's that's a yeah, fucking big half, deal, dude. Yeah, you've already eliminated <laughs> that's huge. like what most people deal yeah. with, like the whole thing. Like, I'm not only afraid of the things that you sh that a normal person would be. Yeah, you're you're becoming an expert, and by doing that, you have to argue to experts. So that's yeah, that would make anybody nervous. Yeah, but like then 50 normal percent people, of your anxiety's gone. Yeah, but <laughs> normal people do that, and they're shitting their pants having yeah. to stand in yeah. front of other people. Yeah, no, I've seen it. Yeah, too. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, I've been to a shit ton of defenses. That's how I prepared for mine. I was yeah. Like a, We'll go look at all of these. And of see course, can, something. Uh, so you can do that. Like I can just it. randomly go and watch the defense. Yeah, I would yeah. love to go see yeah. one. Of those. You actually get emails like, "Yo, this person is having his defense, and this is his topic. So come check it out." Wait, didn't we get emailed that one time? I could have sworn we got emailed something of a friend who was going to do that. Could it? And, have been. and literally until he explained it, I had no idea what the fuck it was. I was like, "Why do I want to?" Go was see? it Fame Kills? Maybe. No. And then so, oh man, because he got his PhD, right? Oh maybe. shit, that's tight. Maybe. Did he have a defense? I don't know. I'm sure. Maybe. Anyway, do you have yeah. to do a defense for PhD? Oh, uh, you have to do a fucking dissertation. Man. Yeah. This ah. is a defense on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So when Maybe, is yeah, when is so when is yours? Uh, sometime in December. I have to set the date. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's kind of like on me, you know. You have to come yeah. right after that. Yeah. We should do a show it. like let's right, it. right let's after. Run it. Eddie, make sure let's we go. make that happen. Yeah. That would be amazing. It so is, it is laying. I'm sure we're gonna be saying congratulations, but I want to hear how like the, like what. How they came at you, dog? Yeah. Did you have to serve them? Yeah, I'll let you know all yeah. about that, dude. And at the very end, just light a cigarette and walk out. <laughs> I mean, take a mic out of your pocket and just be like, "Plop." They're like, "What is that, sir? Please pick up whatever you dropped from your <laughs> He's pocket." Like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Dude, so okay, so, uh, where are you now? Like, you got to update us. Where are you now, currently? I know it changes. It's evolving. Where are you at? with music are you like i'm i got another project but this is the last one no nah, no nah, it's like an ep you know okay this is kind of what i'm feeling right now yeah uh i don't know maybe after this i might feel some other shit okay I'm so you're kinda, no longer putting an end i'm just kind of going through with like what i like what i'm what i'm in the mood for at the time that's know? dope and like kind of playing with names for the album i had a really cool like title for one and then like but i don't know if it's gonna fit what i'm working on right yeah now, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah 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 so, yeah. yeah, you know what's uh, what I've always found interesting about your process because now you've been on the show and you've talked about it a lot. You you do take like a researcher's approach to your songs because like you'll make songs about a very specific thing, you know. Yeah, um, usually I like to have a topic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not usually. You're very consistent with that. I'm never yeah, like, it's uh, like each well, one's a thesis. Not never, not. Like, but I'm not. Uh, I can't just sit there and write. I'm like, yo, I'm doper than you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll kill your crew. Yeah, yeah. You suck. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. Cause oh, shit's he's so ill. Because that shit's awkward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shit. Like, <laughs> rap about mm. rapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, thank you, Lee. You know? See, yeah, Lee yeah, don't yeah, yeah, know. Yeah. No, I know. I looked uh, at Rosh and he didn't even say anything. No. Yeah, I went. Because I haven't went, been complaining about that my whole he life. He doesn't listen to me. went through his head. No. 
<laughs> Are you guys still talking? Yeah. Hey, but do you think that as an artist, are you? Do you feel like you're getting closer? I I gotta think that you're seeing what's happening with like Bobby and, and SP, and you have also seen that it's not like the people have let you fall off. They they won't. They seem to not want to oh, let yeah. that happen. And that's, that's been like really like inspirational. You know. Yeah. I think that's what like kind of like. Not gonna lie, I sparked like the, the interest to make this album. Dope. I mean, or this right. EP. You know what I mean? That's what it's I was looking for. Uh, you got the spark. And then, uh, yeah, and working with the guy that like uh, makes like vibes that you like. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And you guys vibe on the same. That's wave so important. It's dope. So yeah. like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm kind of excited to do so. Do you? Let me ask you this: like, of the other producers that are like kind of around your circles, or is there anybody that you think like, oh, I, I think I could probably make a dope project with that person? Yeah. Uh, you know, I've or only, somebody on the wish list. You know what I mean? I fucking, I've only fucking like worked with like limited producers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I mean? People that have been your friends for a while, right? Now, right? So yeah. I've worked with uh, uh, ninety two. Yeah. Formerly known as Infamizi. Yeah. Right. Is he? That's is that what it is now? 92. Good God! Every time you you come on the show, you tell me something new about Infamizi. Yeah, that's my dude. Super talented guy. Yeah, I don't believe he exists still. Uh, by the way, I don't think it's a real person. <laughs> yeah, fool's like the behind the scenes person. Oh. Check it. Check, 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 check. Yeah. Hey, he's back. Yeah. That's weird. What's he called? Okay, that? so Inf- yeah. you've worked with Infamizi. I mean, that's in the past. Like, he's taken different Yeah, like, early parts of your career. Yeah, you know, early yeah. parts. He's kind of like what – he was like the flame and spark to, like, everything. I yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You know? And then we, we were still, like, best of homies and shit, you know? It was just, like – Music was just like something we like did on the side. Yeah. Together. But that was my homie to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we were homies before like any of these music shit. Mo- is that is that pretty consistent with most of the producers you've worked with? And then so Frank John James is yeah. the guy I did the headphones only album. Yeah. It's solely produced by him. So it's- and then we, we were still like best of homies and shit. You know, it was just like music was just like something we like did on the side. Together. Yeah. But that was my homie to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we were homies before like any of these music shit. Mo- is that is that pretty consistent with most of the producers you've worked with? And then so Frank John James yeah. is the guy I did the headphones only album. Yeah. It's solely produced by him. Su- it's super and, talented, uh, dude. And uh that's my other homie. That's my, my yeah. homie homie. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean like I started rapping. You brought him down to San Diego that time, right? I Didn't think he come I did. yeah, 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 I remember. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Over the oh, shots. Yeah, yeah, Frank the yeah. Oh, Jesus Still looking Christ. for that photo. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Frank John James. That was like uh, I was rapping before I met Infamizi and any of this crowd. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Scene. Yeah, I was rapping with my homie, uh, uh, fucking the Prophet. Or, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah, is another longtime friend. He was there at San Diego. Yes, as well. I remember. Yeah, so I was like rapping with him, and he kind of showed me the basics of recording. Like, yo, you got this layer first, then you got your dubs, and then you can kind of do like your oohs and ahs. Yeah, like, these are called like ad libs. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like I kind of started my foundation there, uh, and then later on I ventured away from that circle, but. Frank John James was part of that circle. Yeah, I was like a l- like a little homie, and I was still listening to like like their music and like the way they were doing shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. And uh, and Frank was rapping. He's an MC as well, and he's fucking dope. Yeah, I mean? yeah, you yeah. Want to check out his music at frankjohnjames.bandcamp.com. That who has a shit ton of free like instrumental albums, fucking MC albums that he's dope. Done Say involved. it again. What is it? Frankjohnjames.bandcamp.com. Boom. So yeah, many first sure. names. Frank yeah. John James. You can find my Sky Dancing project on there. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. And uh, that was in 2012. And he, uh, what's it called? He's dope, man. And like... Uh, have you worked with Loudon? Yeah, I have worked with Okay, Loudon. so yeah, Loudon. I've worked with Loudon. Um, yeah, I have a song called Redline with that fool. That's who else? Um, that's been like a consistent person. That's really it, right? <laughs> I've worked with EQ. Oh, that's, that's another true. person that's I feel true. really confident yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? So, okay. So, beyond that... Who do you see yourself with? Like, yeah, I'd like to, or maybe you want to challenge yourself, or whatever. You're looking at producers. Who do you? Who kind of excites you right now, as far as producers that are making beats? The guy I'm fucking working with right now, yeah, medical. But there's other producers that are like shoot me beats too, like this dude JX. You know, he's originally from the 805. I think he lives somewhere near San Francisco now. Yeah. And there's other constant like producers like uh, uh, from like different countries. You know that often send me shit. Yeah, and I feel bad because I can't get to all of them. The thing is, like, I think beats are dope. Like, I'll hear a beat and I'll be like, "Yeah, damn, bro, that's a dope ass beat." Yeah, and they'll be like, "Here, you can have it," and I'm just like, "Ah, oh, thanks." But I might think it's a dope ass beat, but I can't necessarily write to it. You know, uh, like I'll you. sit there and I'll play it. And I'll be like, "Yeah, dope beat," and I just can't grasp it. And it's just like, uh, I think they think that by me saying it's a dope beat, I'm gonna automatically write to it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like I always feel bad, and I don't think I can make them understand that because of the language barrier. Even with fools like here in the U.S. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. That send me beats. 
uh, or I'll, like I'll lag it too scandalous because yeah. I just can't write to it, you know. So I, I don't I don't like writing like forced, like forced. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like I kind of just get like some a few beats and I'll kind of like vibe along with it for a little bit and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I can write to it and I'll write one or two lines and that turns into like eight bars and then it turns into a fucking verse. So if like a producer sends you beats, they should be prepared to like, you might sit on that for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. or I might just choose like one of those beats. Yeah, yeah. Even though like five of those are dope, yeah. you know what I mean? Or all of them are dope, I might just be able to write to one. So yeah. this is what people don't understand. Yeah. With desire to be the best yeah. Believe it takes a while for styles to manifest uh. So fools think that it happens overnight uh. Not quite uh. It's time and effort that you have to put into the mic Man, I've been influenced by older heads that you ain't even heard of uh. They'll eat you up in seconds on the mic with half a paragraph yeah. I have ideas and traditions they pass on to me That's why I can't adapt to some of this bullshit monotony My style's unreachable out in space like astronomy And all these local cats coming up can never catch on to me You're on some little kid shit, dog. You need a man up I'm way above your head like Jordan back when he would slam dunk and i'm like hella cause i always have a pen on me uh, apparently uh, it be the only thing i need is weaponry slicing through my enemies like samurais i steadily sharpen up my blade to the point of a new extremity thinking you got mad skills dog but you ain't got none thinking you got mad dope songs but you ain't got one fools be taking shots at me but yo i know they fake it cause when i say what's up they claim it's a general statement you know who you are and if you don't then i ain't speaking to you your ass you feel lucky i ain't sell that fucking feature to you dog who the fuck you think you're messing with Lino Skywalker's not the cat you wanna go against I'll come at you any level, street or professional The only tip you want's a tip that's right below my testicles And I don't really seem to care what people say now A visionary said it best, homie, just leave my name out The same peeps that showed you love might be the ones I hate now And I'm probably the second dopest cat you'll know from K-Town On a high note, beat them boys, what's up? Yeah Like, uh, I don't, I don't, I can't Like, uh, like for example, I'm not the type of person who, like, uh like, yo, come to the studio. Like, let's make a song. Like, yeah, yeah, I might go over there, but like, I don't, I don't. That's, I don't think I can write like, uh, like, uh, like something that I really, really, really like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like right there, I kind of just have to sit on that beat and kind of yeah. take it with me. Sometimes I can, you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm not saying I can't do it all the time. It's just that's not my. That pre- it's not happened. my preferred. It's not my preferred choice of writing. Do you know, um, are you a fan of Vince Staples? You know, Vince yeah, Staples? Vince Staples is tight. You know, like, he's like, like. He famously said um, that he doesn't like rapping. Actually, like he likes, he likes writing about things that are important to him, and like rap, like the actual part of like recording and rapping. He's like, isn't it's not like my the fav my favorite part. Like my favorite part is just putting together like the vibe, the song, everything else is just kind of what I have to do to get the music out. Yeah, you know, and I feel like with you, like. Again, like you, you write very personal shit all the time. You know, you've written oh, yeah. about your mom. You know what I mean? Like, what's the name of the the um, on the last project you wrote about your mom working in the fields? Uh, oh, it's um, not fields. Uh, what's it called? It was called Coffee Growers. Yes, coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee Growers. So that's like it's a very specific, like you know what I mean? Like it's a story, right? You know. See, the thing with those is, is like uh, I can't just have. Like all of those, you know, because yeah. like if I, for example, if I was to rock that at a show, it's not like a, say somebody was like really hyped before me and I come through with this shit. It's yeah. just like, it's not, they're not performance tracks. Yeah. Know? It's just kind of like studio tracks or like headphone tracks. Yeah. Hence the name headphones only when I made that album. Yeah. Like these aren't shits you like fucking turn up to. It's kind of like, you'll just chill out for yeah, a little yeah. bit and listen real quick, you know? Yeah. That album, uh, it, I have like, I think two or three songs in it from uh, on the, the crappy awesome playlist on Spotify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it blends really well with like a lot of like the loungier stuff that I have yeah. in my music. Yeah, definitely. Like it's something that I could listen to with a you know with a fucking martini in a conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the subject matter yeah, is like yeah. very like you know. Personal, but that was the point level. though, right? Yeah. Like yeah. you literally create like from the jump, you're already telling them this is not for you to bump. Yeah. No. This like is headphones only. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, do you okay? So when you do stuff like that. That like for example, this project that I yeah. have right now, uh, I'm thinking of title. Actually, I'm pretty sure I might just title it a Midsummer Rhyme Scheme. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. And I don't know if like anybody would get that. Yeah, but yeah, I get that's it. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. dope. And it's just gonna be an EP. Yeah. So let me ask you this: When you do that, when you put together projects like that, I'm talking now, where you're at now with it. Are you looking more to, like, put more behind your project than you have in the past? Like, are you like, I want this to go to an even bigger audience? Or are no. you just still putting it out? No, I'm looking to go, like, I want to remain as passionate as I've been in the previous projects. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because for a while, it was just like, yeah, like, um, I got to know. I'm missing that. I wish I was, like, 21 again. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. You know? I was like, damn. Like, I listened to that last Headphones Only album, like, maybe, like, a month ago after not listening to it for, like, maybe, like, a few years, like, a year and a half, maybe, you know? And uh, I was just like, oh, damn, like, I want to be able to, like, get into that mode again. Where yeah. Where it's just, like, for real, like, you know? Yeah. Which is at that, like, for example, SP, Self, Self-Provoked, and the fucking Wino and everybody in my crew, that's the mode they're on. Yeah. Like, every single day that they wake up you know so i'm kind of feeling like ah oh, damn am i like am i doing enough like mm. you know what i mean you but have like, been busy with a thesis they've all, <laughs> nah, <laughs> but they've all they've all like shown me love they're like do you bro we support you you know like you gotta handle your stuff right like, you know so it's real like it's all love like we're homies homies you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. i would i would dude here's the thing i'm gonna tell you this because i got love for you i challenge you to use your research skills that you naturally have, that you're very talented with, into either finding people to fill in the blanks of the stuff you do need as, as an artist, like just whether it is social media, whether it is content creation, that people find someone to either fill those positions or find a schedule to fit that in somehow. Because I, I here's my thing as a fan. As a fan, I go, more people have to hear this. And as a fan... I feel like, you know, like doing something like this, like this show or just telling people like I have, a, you know, you gave me a stack of CDs and I only give those CDs to people that I know that really like music. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to me, that's like my part. But as a fan, I do expect the artist to like, let's go to the next. Are we going to the next level now? Or are you like, oh, yeah, yeah, are you taking sure. me with you? Like, let's go. Yeah. You know, sure. and so I would say just research on how to fix that one issue of if you're like, man. I, you know, Facebook is whatever it is. Well, find a way around. You're creative. Yeah. You know? For sure. And, uh, yeah, that's why, I mean, I still, I'm on Twitter. Twitter's popping. <laughs> shout, out to, shout, shout out to Brown Twitter. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Aww. I'm trying to make one. I don't yeah, know. All right. It's not catching on. Twitter Nobody guy. wants to be Brown Twitter. Independent Twitter. 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 You're good Instagram. on Twitter, man. SoundCloud. Twitter's your good thing. Bandcamp. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. on all the cool ones. <laughs> all the cool ones. All the ones that are closing down Aww. tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I started I started being active on my Snapchat. Snapchat is popping. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, even though I still think it's like for little, like, 17-year-old girls. Yeah. Are you on Instagram <laughs> stories? Are you doing Instagram stories? Oh, uh, I started to fuck with those a lot more. Yeah. Like, D just go there. That's yeah, where the right. adults went. The stories, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Snapchat just, was It's just real hard for yeah. me, dog. Like, you know, snapping this he fucking Heineken or Instagram story yeah. Heineken. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm not into it. And yeah. It's like, that. Uh, over here at the home tones with a uh, crappy awesome everybody. yeah 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 because you think that most people don't care yeah well i don't care so yeah yeah yeah. So I, yeah no no no. i'm in the same boat uh with snapchat i can't find my i tried i with was doing snapchat? pretty yeah i was doing pretty well yeah. on it too i was getting a lot of uh, people would tell me like in my personally yeah dude i fucking love your snapchat it's yeah. fucking entertaining as shit i would get that regularly but i just eh. I don't like having yeah, to turn on this thing yeah. constantly. And you got to it late before, like when you before you could like really benefit from it because you yeah. were you knocked it out of the park, but it was already past the curve. Yeah, you know, like but Instagram stores. But any any it's open. that's anything doing where I have to like be thinking about we, turning we my phone on and doing a live thing. This is interesting. And I'm agreeing with our guest. <laughs> I'm just saying you're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're wrong. God status, Tony. Word. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yo, man. Um. <laughs> I wanted to say this to you, brother. This is, uh, you're going to be at our three year anniversary. I am. One of the reasons we definitely wanted to have you on, man, is because we've always had like a relationship with you from the very beginning. And it's always been like a very cool, open thing with you. We felt like, oh, we need to bring somebody from the platform collection world who's been in there for a while someone we supported for a minute and that's why we had you out and people if you're listening august 3rd 
If this episode hasn't aired already? In Fullerton? No, it, it is going to air because this is episode 300. Okay. <clears throat> so. Um, oh, wow. You're on three in a row. Yeah. Three. Nice. You're on number 300. So um, August 3rd at Fullerton Slide Bar, Cookbook, Tumex, Zay, Linoski, 18 Scales. We got a bunch of surprise people, too, by the way, that are coming through. It's oh, going to yeah. be dope. So, sure. by the way, that end of the night cypher. Ilsamar, are you coming through? You should definitely come through. Wait, we need it. I think that end of the night cipher is going to be amazing. So bring your cameras if you're coming out. There's always going to be some weird shit happen with Tumex in the house. So <laughs> who knows who the fuck he, he brought like Kid Frost out one time. <laughs> like, oh shit, it's Kid Frost. Oh, and he yeah. killed it, by the way. Yeah. That fool killed it. So, dude, thank you so much for being a part of that. No, this is, yeah. by the way, this is how real Linoski is. It literally was one text. Yo, are you down? And he was like, I'm down. <laughs> like, nothing else. Like, no. Did you even like, know what he was down for? No, I, I'm pretty sure he did it. He found out from the flyer and shit. He's like, oh, <laughs> He's like, oh, oh I guess I'm reporting. Like, yeah. <laughs> I guess I get up there and rap. All right. Yeah, it's just like, you want to be at our uh, third year anniversary? Got you. Got you. <laughs> That's it, man. Nice. Dude, you've, you're like one of the humblest dudes. It's why I go so hard body karate on you about blowing it up because I Thanks, think you deserve bro. it. Um, guys, make sure you follow everything Lenoski does. Not on Facebook, though. Not on Facebook yet. Um, but tell them how to get in touch with you right now. Like, in Instagram is the best one, right? Yeah, Instagram, yeah. Twitter is the same thing everywhere. It's just L I N O S K I I I. Yeah. Linoski. Yo, and I'm going to tell you this right now. Boxing fans, soccer fans, follow Linoski. <laughs> for real. It's like, that's that's a whole reason. If you, you don't know his music, follow him for that because he'll <laughs> jump on commentary during games and a bunch of shit. It's yeah. fucking funny as fuck. Mad, yeah. Follow Linoski. Mad tweets in Spanish. Mad too. tweets in Spanish. And sometimes he'll just give you, like, girl advice. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. I would. <laughs> I need not, some of that. I'm not the best yeah, person. Yeah, you got to follow him then, man. All right, okay. All right. Sounds good. Just stop blocking him. Thank you, brother. Hey, right. thank you guys so much, man. Yep. You guys. Word. You may now flush the when toilet. When I was young, I felt like I was born for this shit. Lately, I do admit I'm getting bored of this shit. Rapping just doesn't fulfill me like it used to be before. And I don't plan to be a rapper, dog. I plan to be more. Rhyming just doesn't excite me like it used to when I started. And I guess that over time, me and my pen slowly departed. I struggle now, coming up with songs when it used to come to me as a natural response. Some people say that you should always follow your dreams. But in reality, I never plan to be. And MC, some people ask me, hey, yo, Lino, how did you start rapping? And I don't really know how, dog, it sort of kind of happened. But I do know why, though, it was to escape reality, to help me feel better when the whole world was mad. It's like trying to leave your girl, cause it won't work, and you know it, but you can't, cause you love her, even though you know it's hopeless. That's my relation with this hip hop shit. Your music motivates me throughout the whole fucking day. I'm just telling you, keep making music, keep being humble with your homies, and just keep representing Korea Town. When I was young, I never thought I'd quit doing great. Until I figured out I was better at making these tracks And that took me like six years to figure out what I did And so I quit it with the spray paint and started to spit And now I figured out I'm better at other things than this rapping shit And maybe try to make a fucking album's what's been stopping me I wouldn't be here without support from my homies If it wasn't for my crew, I probably wouldn't be flowing If it weren't for Infamizy, you probably wouldn't know me If it wasn't for EQ, I'd never drop headphones only I'm really thankful that they opened these doors But most of all, I'm really thankful for their love and support I'm really thankful for the fans that were there from the start and i mean that shit sincerely from the depths of my heart because if it wasn't for your ears my music would be so lonely because outside of being a rapper my life is actually boring all i have to say is keep making music you know never give up it inspires many people and then i think about the love that you give me and the joy you might get when you hear me start spitting and I get inspired right when I'm about to burst I was done with the song but then you inspired this verse I do this shit for those that saw me climb on this My day ones ever since that pay dues contest I've come a long way, I've had a little help though I hate when rappers say that they did it all themselves bro Like who was there man who listened to your shit Your fans and your peers is why I always show respect And low key I'm really not that popping in the game But I guarantee your favorite local rapper knows my name They might be in their prime but that won't always be the case Someone young will always come Coming straight, take over that reign. I just hope to be remembered even after I decay. And hope to leave my legacy here in the city of LA as one of K Town's finest. And your songs relate to many people's lives, and I love your music. I look forward to your new project, and I know it will be perfect just like your past projects and new projects in the future. I'll always be here to support you and your music.
to you by PlatformCollection.com.